<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, I am going to go ahead and give a little Vegas update. It's been a while since I've done a Vegas update, since, you know, since last year. I plan to give at least a Vegas update once a month or when something breaking happens in Vegas, and this is something... Um, I wanted to talk about earlier this year, but there's so many uh, other news updates from other theme parks. I never really got a chance to, but something else came from Vegas today, and I decided to couple these two stories in one. So talk about my thoughts on the new Hot Rock Hotel coming to Vegas uh, very soon, as well as the new, uh, or Bally is getting, is getting a renovation as well, to the Horseshoe, and we'll talk about the significance of that as well. So let's start with Hard Rock. The Mirage in Vegas is getting rebranded to the Hard Rock. The, another themed hotel is going down, but at least this time it's getting replaced with a theme. I still wish that another, another, another non-themed hotel would go down and get replaced with a theme like maybe the Tropicana or even Bally's itself. Since I believe those th those hotels are themed, but they aren't as heavily themed as like the Mirage, which has Siegfried and Roy's uh, little zoo there with the white tigers, as well as the volcano show. That, as you see, will likely be no more as this brand new hotel tower will be built right on top of the volcano and lagoon, uh, most likely. Which is unfortunate. Again, um, it's one of the more heavily themed hotels, the Mirage, so uh, I wish these companies would buy up uh, things like the Tropicana and, again, even Bally's, uh, which are lightly themed, and rebrand them and make them even more themed. But we'll take what we can get when Vegas and Scandal Resorts World, uh, which in this picture is like right around here, actually, because there's Circus Circus, the resorts, this is Resorts World under construction when this was taken, and just this rendering is placed over it. Um, that is supposed to be an Asian-themed hotel, and it's very, very, very lightly themed. But the Hard Rock is coming in in a big way. It's going to build, it's going to rebrand the Mirage. So in urban planning terms, this is what we call an adaptive reuse project. It's rebranding, just renovating an existing building. This will be new construction, ground-up construction. So it's renovating the existing Mirage tower towers and adding a brand new guitar-shaped hotel tower, which is exactly like the one that is in Florida. They built uh, at the Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. They have this guitar-shaped hotel. It's cool because at nighttime, um, the actual building gets like here, but at nighttime, those uh, LED lights, I believe, or yeah, I think it's LED lights, strobe up to complete the, the guitar at night, which is super cool. So Vegas, so I'm glad it's coming here um, because it's really perfect for Vegas. The one, in, <coughs> the one in Florida is 450 feet tall. No real details on a construction start date or even how tall or how many rooms this new uh, addition will have has been announced. But if it is like the Florida one, it will be 450 feet tall. It certainly will be taller than the Mirage Hotel itself. Which, let's see, Mirage Hotel Height. Let's see if you can get to. Uh... Mirage is 335 feet tall. And if you were to go based on the pure running, this one looks like about 450 around that same height because 335 is not too much taller. Maybe around 450, 500 feet for, uh, for this hotel, which is super cool. And I'm um, sure there'll be. Plenty of cool clubs and stuff in there as well. And again, not sure how many rooms. It would be a great addition to this strip, something really unique. And it would be one of the, also, as this article mentioned, one of the very few hotels in Vegas that at the theme goes to the structure, something at the Luxor, where the theme extends to the building where it's built as a pyramid. Or New York, New York, where it's built at the hotel is the theme itself as well. It's built as a theme, which is New York, New York City skyline. So we'll have another one of those as the guitar will be obviously be themed to Hard Rock, but the guitar will be uh, a theme in itself, which is super cool and really makes Vegas very unique in its architecture because not just a whole mostly it's not just a whole bunch of bland buildings. They're all these different shapes 
and all these different uh, unique themes, except for some older ones like Treasure Island and the Hard Rock. Again, the volcano will be demolished for this hotel, uh, for this edition, and no word on if the zoo and all the white tigers and stuff of that staying, but it doesn't really fit the Hard Rock theme, so I would guess that's a no-go, which sucks because there's two places you can see very unique animals on the strip. The MGM Grand, which had the lion exhibit, which was discontinued in 2012, very long time ago, 10 years ago. It's one, and now, um, well, actually, three places because there's Shark Reef Aquarium at Mandalay Bay, and then there's Siegfried and Roy with the White Tigers. That'll be gone, most likely. So now it should be Shark Reef Aquarium where you can go see cool exotic animals on this strip or in Vegas because I don't think Vegas has any other zoos or aquariums because it's too hot really for a zoo so i don't know but that's kind of unfortunate so definitely next time we go to vegas definitely want to go visit siegfried and roy's uh that animal exhibit over there and probably film it for you guys because uh it'll be, i haven't seen that in over 10 years and it'll be the last time i do get to see it but skimming the article um hard rock international bought this resort bought the Mirage for $1 billion in cash from MGM. And, uh, again, there's no really, um, no real details on the amount of rooms or anything, but it will feature six light beams shooting into the sky as if there are strings on the guitar neck. And, um, the MGM will be rebranded the Hard Rock. And that's really... Really, yeah, details to come later, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more, including a start date later on this year because this was announced last year. Now, moving on to the other piece of Vegas news. Let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Another Ultra Hotel, Bally's is being rebranded to the Horseshoe Las Vegas in a multi-million dollar renovation. This was announced today, and the Royal Tears of Poker will be moving, uh, it's usually held at Caesars Palace, it's going to be moved over to Bally's for the facility, or the new Horseshoe, which is very interesting, because the Horseshoe used to be a really iconic uh, hotel in Vegas, or casino in Vegas, at the original horseshoe was in what is now downtown Las Vegas and was um it's now Binion's Gambling Hall which is a place my dad actually likes to gamble a lot he lives out in Vegas and he goes there like every weekend to gamble the Binion's is now what is was now Binion's used to be the horseshoe and it was where the World Series of Poker was born decades ago First World Series of Poker Tournament was at the Horseshoe back in downtown Vegas. Now we'll be returning to the new Horseshoe in 2022. This renovation will be extending. It'll be starting this spring. So this renovation has a start date starting in just a few months, actually. But don't worry, Bally's is not closing. It'll stay open throughout the renovation and just sections of it can be walled off as it goes through its refurbishment. So it'll be open um, for your enjoyment and just have like a rolling renovation in like separate little phases. Um, some parts of the casino may be closed as it gets new branding and new flooring, and they'll just kind of move the construction walls around. And um, while in the hotel rooms, obviously some, maybe some floors will be unavailable as they rebrand the rooms or refresh the rooms. And we'll go floor by floor by floor. So we have a limited capacity, probably a limited, limited capacity this summer, um, but plenty of rooms available for you. But yeah, it'll start this spring. It's going to be complete by the end of the year. So by New Year's Eve, it should be done. Um, so it's not too much of a renovation. Well, it's not, again, it's nothing like the Hard Rock where they're building a hotel tower. And of course, they're going to renovate all the rooms at the the Mirage. I'm not sure if the Mirage is going to stay open during that renovation, by the way. They didn't, the article didn't say. Um, but... Balling is, and it's going to be starting, let's say, this spring. So 
maybe like seven months, really, uh, I'd say is the most you'd see for this renovation. Some of the renovations include exterior and the casino floor will both be renovated. There'll be new entertainment and bev- food and beverage options. And the design team will incorporate two tools of other dramatic colors in the brand's signature gold horseshoe icono- I- iconography. And um, the World Series of Poco again will be returning here May 31st to July 19th. The name change, I'm not, I'm, I'm probably the name change will probably, I don't know if that's going to take place at the very end or when construction starts. I wonder if they'll just rename it the Horseshoe because again, May 31st, the World Series of Poker will be there. So it most likely will be named the Horseshoe then because um, it again is returning to its roots. So that'd be very interesting. Um, again, that original horseshoe I was talking about in Las Vegas in downtown was all the way in 1970, so it's what 52 years ago, or 32, uh, yeah, 52 years ago, crazy. And it'll be on the Vegas ship for the very first time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it there. So that's some pretty cool, quick, uh, quick update on some Vegas renovations. Oh, and Vegas again. Vegas is kind of like Disneyland, and not the way. And the way also it's very themed. But you know, Disneyland always has a refurbishment or construction project going on. It seems like Universal Studios, uh, at least in the domestic parks, same thing. Universal Orlando and Hollywood also have some some kind of construction project or refurbishment refurbishment project going on as well. So Vegas is just like those. There's always some kind of refurbishment or renovation new project, new idea, and that's why it's super cool. It's really like an adult major theme park, a family really theme park as well, because there's lots of things to do for families in Vegas as well. Um, I might make a video on that uh, uh, if anyone's curious. But yeah, so Vegas is super exciting. I'm super excited for these new changes, and I'll be, when I'm out there, I'll definitely be doing doing the uh tracking the construction progress of both those projects as well and any other construction projects like the sphere the mg uh the world's largest sphere is being built there should be open this year that'll be a massive concert concert venue that's also planned to come here in la as well so pretty exciting but what do you guys think about these new vegas changes the hard rock hotel with a new guitar shaped hotel and ballets getting rebranded to the horseshoe uh getting but a a brand new horseshoe, 2022 version, an upscale, classy one. But the world sees a poker returning to the uh, making, marking his trip to the Las Vegas Strip for the first time. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates and Vegas updates. As always, have a fantastic day.